gon' chew me, cut the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. Our pop culture news topic of today is stemming off a tweet from NFR Podcast uh, at the beginning of the month where Kanye West says he's retiring from music. He quotes, I am retiring from professional music. Not sure what else to do. I want to spark the conversation of which old heads are still in demand and which ones need to wrap it up. For me, these if, if we want to talk about Kanye specifically, because that's what sparked the conversation. These past couple albums from Kanye have been like duds to me. I haven't been participating willingly in these albums, but I would love to see Kanye stay, stick around as a producer. I would. I can see yeah. That. It, I have been. In regards to Kanye, I think the past few albums, I'd always find like two to three songs I like by him, but none of the albums just made me go, oh, this is good as the amazing golden trilogy that he created. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you like that church album and, that he released, released, didn't it? Jesus King? Yeah, you like that, didn't it, Ryan? I thought I thought Ryan said he liked Donda. Didn't you say that like, you like? Donda? I like I liked a few songs from Donda. I never cared for the Jesus is King. You stereotyping okay. me because I'm a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, you're you're being a religious. Are you being are you being a religious <laughs> right now? We're losing the plot. We're losing <laughs> the plot. <laughs> maybe I was connecting. Maybe we're I was connecting the, the dots. No food do the same Kanye. thing. I haven't enjoyed a, I, I haven't enjoyed a Kanye album truly. Since yeah. my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, now I'll let I'll let him slide with the life of Pablo. Jesus, I was gonna say that's the last the life of Pablo I got some gems on yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll let I'll let uh yeah. the life of Pablo slide. Jesus, I feel like he might have should have set that one out, but like everything after that was like okay, Kanye. I don't know. I just yeah. never really yeah. Way. I know he makes great art, but me personally, just sit down and listen to Kanye. It just had that the old stuff, yo. Yeah. So we got <laughs> Chase in the building. Yo, yo, yo. Hello, Chase. Uh, Ralph said, "M seems to be done until MGK made a song with T Grizzly dissing him again." I, I, I know the album. I think the album did good, but I personally would like Eminem to wrap it up as well. Okay, so I want to ask, like, what do you, what do we can like? Why like, what are the standards that we're saying that we should wrap it up? Is it like by like sales? Or I just feel like, like quality. It just stuff? don't. And, it, and, it don't hit the same like it used to. Like and, because I'm saying, if you think about Eminem, he pulled it over three hundred k the first week on his album. But I would say, for me personally, okay, yes. For as far as sales, it seems like Eminem is still in demand. And then let's just talk about the how the way he promoted the album um, with the Slim Sh Shading persona, persona and stuff. He hasn't done that since the Marshall Mathers LP2 that came out in like 2014, 2015. Uh -huh. Like all them other albums he's been putting out after that hasn't been at, at that same caliber that this one was. But for me personally, when I was listening to the album, and though I get it that this is the Slim Shady persona, I personally feel like I have outgrown that. Outfit, so do you great. feel like his? Do you feel like his music is just outdated? Like that album is kind of dated in comparison to what you like with your modern taste, or do you I, feel I like would, he's just lost quality as an artist? I don't. I don't think he's lost quality. Like when you like the way the like everything was lying like the way that that album was composed and like the story that he was telling and stuff like i appreciated it but like i guess yes the mindset that i have now is i would agree with what chase just said it's cringy like the man got on four songs talking about caitlin jenner uh candace owens and he just keeps saying the same like he's dissing the same group of people and i was like i get the dissing thing is eminem and I get the angle, like the story that he's trying to tell is that he's trying to get canceled. Like they're they calling the album the death of Slim Shady, but then it's like it's kind of like in reverse. Right. 
But like I get it, but I just feel like at this time and place, like in the early 2000s when he was dissing everybody, like Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, like he was throwing shots at Will Smith in sync. Like when at like the early 2000s, like yeah, he was causing up all that controversy. But like now it's just like okay. What? Everybody tries mm-hmm. to be edgy and be controversial so it doesn't stick right. out anymore. Yeah. You think it's just something in the air though? I mean, because a lot of folks in the um just in the industry haven't been getting along. They've been making a lot of diss tracks and stuff like that. Do you think it was just he was maybe like, okay, this is the time. Um, this is where the Slim Shady is gonna fit in, because this is me. Well, he kind of disses everybody, so it's like it's yeah. not really much shock value if mm-hmm. Eminem mm-hmm. comes out with a diss. Right. Like if that's the marketing for it, it's like, well, you kind of dissed everybody, didn't you? <laughs> like, right. who's left? like folks I, who can't rap. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But, I get, I get that it's his thing. I just feel like now, um, I I just feel like I've outgrown the Slim Shady persona to feel like, oh shit. Yeah, that's fair. And I feel like with me personally, when I say like an old head needs to wrap it up, I feel like you just. Coming from like your fans, your sales, no, your product, like that man so okay. Somebody like the album, obviously. But but I feel like it's just so the I way just, that I can I, personally say he needs to wrap it up because it's somebody, some people out there still checking for Eminem. Whether we want, I don't really listen to Eminem, but it blew my mind that he brought in three hundred K off that. I I think it I think it's just the way that the album was set up with like with him when like when he dropped Houdini like that guess who's back that callback to um without me like it was like okay he bringing back old Slim Shady we going back to the early two thousands I feel like that's what grabbed everybody. See for me though I wouldn't think Eminem needs to wrap it up because like when I'm thinking wrap it up and if I interpret the question I'm thinking of artists who like. It seems like they're trying new things or they've yet to try something new and it's mm-hmm. really starting to get old. Like I'll put okay. Wayne, I'll put Wayne into that realm. I, like, I, I would agree. Is, I would I agree. Let's no, but here's, 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 last album. Let's give him this last album. Let's give Wayne. No, he, we gotta give him one more chance. Mm-hmm. Here's, here's <laughs> we've been, give, been giving I'm, him chances since the Carter Five, though. I'm just saying, like, when, but I'm just saying things like in Game of Thrones, they gave the King plenty of chances, right? He was up there fucking up. I mean, you're yeah, right, but, get, we, we but Wayne, who? Wayne did all that stuff about, oh, I'm going to retire. He dropped Carter 5 and didn't hit. Funeral kind of made up for it, but it wasn't like everybody kind of dropped that. He dropped what? No, What was that? Was that No Silence 3? He dropped some other tape after that, and then he dropped a and collab the fix, album. Fix before the, six. the Fix Before the Six. He dropped like another collab, collab album. With two chains. And that's four real chances. That's four yeah. real that's chances. Nothing. I agree. I agree. We've been giving Little Wayne chances since the Carter Five, and yeah. he and he has been dropping the ball on every single one of them chances. And, and all of us here, we from the South, we grew up on Young Money. Let's just be honest. The Carter Four was his last fire album. Yeah. That was the last five. Yeah, on that. Them dreads, it them was... dreads start falling out, and he did too. Yeah. I think it's, uh, it, it might be like two songs from that last album that he dropped that I I was like okay these. But bad. I want to I want to bring, I, I bring, bring this up. I want to bring this up because I agree. When we were deciding on this topic, that. when we were talking about this topic offline, I said he does well on the features. Is but when it's time for him to put a full project together, he can't do mm-hmm. it. And and I'm cool with that. Come out and do a feature with someone young who just dropped on the field. They love you. They respect you. Everybody who was listening to you when you was a teenager, they grown and rapping now. Yeah, jump on one of their albums. But you drop your own project. Let's 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 leave with grace. Let's de- let's depart with he, grace. He thinking he thinking too big. We need to go. <laughs> oh, he think, he think yeah. he's thinking, I just he's hate thinking to put a too cough. big. I just hate to put a cough, uh, cough on Weezy F baby though. But y'all make great matches. But I there, but so. I get it though. I get the sentimental value, and I get it that what Ryan just said. We're all from the south. We grew up with Wayne. So to say that he needs to wrap it up, despite. The yeah. evidence that is sitting in front of our face is is it's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. However, <laughs> it needs and you need to swallow like, that pill, friend. <laughs> like even when you see Wayne at festivals, it's getting to the point where he's no longer even the biggest name on there. I don't even know if the younger generation vibe went there. I don't think they like, I remember when, to him like that for real. Not the younger yeah. generation. Like folks who still listen to Wayne are like, 
I, I we're some of the youngest folks who still listen to him, and the rest of them are like in their thirties and forties now. You know what I'm saying? Like he, I don't know if he's he, and, he's and they, with the younger and, folks, and they not even. And then I and I would bet you the older generation Wayne fans are not listening to that new shit. They list, They still listen to the Carter One for real. <laughs> let's just let's be honest. Come on now. Let's, they still they still got their Spinrilla account. Listen. Right, <laughs> right. They got the they, mixtape on Burger the, Disc. They still got their Spinrilla account. I still got my no ceilings on my Spinrilla account. <laughs> so I still I, got no ceilings on a jump drive somewhere, like no, and some of the dedications. Yeah, I think, and I don't know. This might be a tired point too. I feel like maybe he should focus on whoever in his group, them other artists he be trying to bring up, because I've. I, I like I said, like I said, good a good and little twist been trying to get brought up for the past fifteen but, years. But my, but I understand that. That's why. <laughs> Come my, on now. That's why my. That's why my counterpoint was going to be when this like he overshadows them as well. Or when, them times when he did. This is a perfect example. That Little Wayne concert we had at JSU, and he had that intermission when he brought all them folks out. Everybody thought the concert was over and left. See, I respect him for trying because how many other artists outside of what Jay probably not too many folks really bring up superstars like Wayne did. So it's like, I mean, he did it. He he proved himself. He cemented himself. That's why I feel like he should retire with grace. I also think we did like I think with people like Wayne who are just actually good rappers, it's not what a lot of people care to hear. I'm not going to say I think the younger generation, they don't really care about. The bars no more. It's just, it's just, it's, just, the, it's the t- it, it's the beat, it's the TikTok. Want, What's gonna make me move my shake hips. hips too? Yeah, we can't, I, so we can't, can't, that we can't shake our hips. The dedication for her. <laughs> <laughs> so that's I don't. So that's why I don't think when he drops something, it's gonna p- bring him a lot of like new fans in like that for real. He gotta hop on. He gotta hop on the track with um. I don't know. I don't know them young cheering. I don't know them cheering. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I can't be thinking of other old heads that should wrap it up. The ones that's still in the game because where they still, they still outside. T T Pain still be dropping music and it don't be doing nothing. But he talk well, about that. Neo, Neo needs to wrap oh, it up. Yeah. Neo, Neo needs to wrap it up because because why? He's he a great writer. Him? Why is he still great dropping? Great writer, movies? excellent writer, excellent mm-hmm. gal. Neo is one of those people. Your talent is writing for others. It's okay to stick to that. <laughs> it's, like, we don't give you your credit. Yeah. Like you yeah. don't have, like you don't have to step in the studio. Like I understand the lyrics might speak to you, and you feel like you might need to step in there and sing it. But I promise you, you don't. Ralph said, "What Chris, about Ralph, Ralph said, "What about no?" Chris, Chris Brown still got high demand. Now, Chris, now Chris, Chris Brown is in demand. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. Chris Brown is one yeah. of the hottest out. Even, in- Feel is one of the hottest. Even, out. Even, on though we, even though we make even though we make fun of Chris Brown in the Infinity Long as albums, somebody is sitting there and listen to him. Yeah. Yeah. It's, gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be some off the album that's gonna and be good. It's crazy because he got the older generation of women and the younger generation of women loving him, and that just blows my mind. Like even my aunties, like the, my older cousins, still being for Chris Brown, and now the younger girls are being for Chris Brown. He got that in his pocket. He's not going nowhere. And, and by old head, and by old head, Sage, we're referring to. I think we said ten years because ten years is pretty long in the music game. Yeah, I think that's what we said. Ten, ten like, years about. I think, I think Chris Brown still got that like that boyish charm a little bit too, mm-hmm. and so I think that's what. Yeah, as long as, as, long as he can keep doing them flips, they with him. Yeah, and if you look at this concert, if you look at how his past tour is doing, Chris Chris Brown is about one to two tours away before he ever even need to consider a legacy tour. He he ain't there yet. He ain't yeah. there yet. Like I liked how someone like Fifty Cent wrapped it up. Fifty Cent, he went out with grace, and I was appreciative of how he went out. Sage mentioned Common. Common, Common don't. Common did oh. drop an album. LL Cool J is dropping an album next month. Now that. <laughs> you know what? I, I can't. I can't even say. I can't even say nothing. I can't even say nothing about LL Cool J because I haven't been. I don't check for LL Cool J. Like that's my dad's. Bob. Yeah, like I listen to Man. head, I listen to head sprung every now and then, and then I get on down. Get on down. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to head sprung every now and then. And, 
And for someone like Common, I feel like Common doesn't overwhelm us with bad music, which is why yeah. nobody's saying you got to hang it up. Like when Lil Wayne drops, you're like, oh, he's dropping and then it's trash. I ain't heard a Common record or album where I was like, this is trash. I, I That's fair. But I, I don't really check. I don't really check for Common. Me neither. I have a few, I have a few Common songs I'll listen to. But, but I would agree with Ryan. Like the Common songs that I have listened to, Back in the gal, I want Matt on. Yeah, Common doesn't inoffensive, solid rap. What about J Lo? Wrap it up. That <laughs> movie yeah. definitely needs to wrap it up. She, she needs to back to She needs to get out the music industry, period, and yeah. just act. Act period. movies, yeah. If J Lo, if they releasing a movie with J Lo leading, I'm going to the theater. She getting my seventeen dollars at AMC. I'm watching, but when it comes to an album. Huh. When it comes to a single, you won't get a play from me, sister. You right. tricked me. You tricked me to in watching that movie that day. It like, was oh, awful. Sister, it was awful. Me. And that that was awful. It was. We gotta go. We gotta go listen to Get Right, and that's not even her singing for real to cleanse our palate. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I want. I want to actually spice it up. Are there any artists that we want to want them to unwrap it up? Like, do we still want another Rihanna album? I yeah, I album. just said that. They talking about ASAP Rocky dropping the album. That's the wrong parent in that household. I would love that needs album to be in the studio. But but here's I would too. I would love another good Rihanna album. Yeah, I think. But what if it's time. what if it's bad? Like she went out at a great yeah, height. Yeah. Ain't, ain't that going out with Grace though? Like she feel, went out with Grace. I feel that like she could fire. adjust though. I feel like that. Yeah. I see that in Rihanna to adjust to the times. I. Yeah. Rihanna if, just don't give me come out with no bad album. I'm telling you something about the she, Rihanna. I, Even if it is bad, they, they still gonna go up. Rihanna was the high I, I, I don't think Rihanna, I disagree. I don't think I disagree. Rihanna is, yeah, I I don't see Rihanna making a bad album. Me neither. I don't, I don't see that. I don't see her making a bad album. But I would be interested to see what vibe she goes for she was mm-hmm. to come back because i feel like anti was like a completely different mm-hmm. vibe she went for more for, r&b kind of in that a soulful like be, yeah like the way that was crafted and then she just i would be interested to see what she taps into if rihanna was to drop an album mm-hmm. but here's the thing that's why i'm like when P- i i am a rihanna fan I want Frank Ocean to unwrap it up. Where's Hank? Where's Frank? I just saw huh. the other day somebody said they out. It's, it's, it's enough. That's we good on that now. They've um, we've kind of just we, we ain't ready for it no more. Oh, um, <laughs> I I miss Frankie. <laughs> I, but I feel I feel like when we talk about going out with Grace, even Frank Ocean, I feel like Frank Ocean and Rihanna, like if they went out making you want something more. I think that's the best way to go out. They still thought to say I'm done. done. I left you with a treasure chest. Like, deal with that. Just send me Frank Ocean if you're listening to this. Just send me the album. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Just, just, just send me. Just send me the album. She's the not. Deluxe. And yeah, I Spice is carried by TikTok. By the way, she. The, Are we the dancing? Into that? The, the, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I read we got we got some that. we got some we got some more minutes on the current topic, but we can. Let's, I don't know if I know more old heads because my fave, she's still selling, so I, they ain't nothing to do with me. They ain't got nothing to do with me. So. My fave still she, selling. I want your fave to go street. back to... I, I, I want I'm your fave to go back to... I want... Because, 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 Drake, because Drake is still in demand, but what I want Drake to do is to go back to his roots. Yeah. That's what I want. And my, my I'm not mad at that. Right there too, and I'm not mad because she did what we asked her to do. Bitch, need to get out social media. That's all I can say. But when it comes to that booth, <laughs> you're living that booth. Move into that because booth. Drake, Drake is definitely, definitely in demand. If you've seen his recent numbers on Spotify, Drake is definitely still in demand. Mm-hmm. I just want him to refocus. <laughs> Here's the funny thing. <laughs> I want him to focus. I will say this, and yes, I'm speaking with some Drake bias, obviously. I will say, even though older Drake fans who are still attached to how he was with his rapping game and the rap purists, every album still comes with hella hits. Like every album he drops, even if a lot of us be like after Scorpion, nothing has been like to that caliber of nothing was the same as Scorpion and Take Care and everything. 
each of his new albums, kind of like the Chris Brown albums, they all there will always be three to five hits on every that's new Drake. Fine. Album. Yeah. And maybe I'm and maybe listen. and that's and that's fine. And maybe it's just me, the person that I resonated with when Drake first came out. And now it's just like maybe, maybe I'm just not, you know, vibing with what he got going on right now. But I yeah, won't I deny, say. I won't deny every time he puts out an album, they grab them them two to three songs and we roll. We ride. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, I was at them sold out concerts. Marvin's room had just as many folks singing as um shoot, give me some. Even his house music was bumping in that concert. Not even gonna cap. You said that house time? music. I, my, I said as much as Talk many people. Honestly, never mind. Yeah, as many people who were singing a song from Honestly, never mind. There was that many people singing from Marvin's room. Like, I, he, for honestly, he's selling out. But honestly, never mind. I appreciate Drake for trying something different. I just uh-huh. didn't vibe with it until Jimmy. Cruz. I feel you, and I feel like Drake got one of those fan bases like Nicki got because regardless of what Nicki draw, I'm gonna know what the hell she said on that record. Whether I, I really fuck with it, I'm just gonna know it because I'm a fan. It's just in me yeah. to know what she's saying. It's not my favorite yeah. lyrics, it's not my favorite verse, but this bitch said this, and you gonna hear what she said. I think Drake got fans like that. So do Beyonce. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 them ride or dies. Beyonce definitely got it because I had no business in that country album, but I was in yeah. there. <laughs> I had I had no business in that country album, but I was in there. That was in there. See, that's what I'm saying. Drake ain't like going. Drake, one of them artists. It's gonna. It's it just like Chris Brown. It's gonna be a minute for their legacy tour. Yeah, it's gonna be. We got yeah. a good minute. Mm-hmm. I saw. I saw a comment from Ralph that he said it's rumored Drake coming up with an album sooner than we thought. I would be. I. I'll be interested. To see. I'll this is not long. Uh, I like no longer because you uh, got to see I, how he's gonna come back from all of this. The longest does I the longest album. For me, that took me a minute to get through with Scorpion. I I usually can get through a Drake album because wasn't Scorpion the one that had like two two sides to it, like two discs to yeah, it? Yeah, one side was like his hip hop side. The other was like his island music mixed with a little R and B. Okay, I think Scorpion. That was took Scorpion. Me, I think Scorpion took me a minute to get through just because of the length. But I th- I think everything else, like I could sit down and listen to a Drake album straight out. Even though I get that, the only person who's ever made me go like I'm tapping out, this is too much music is Chris Brown. Chris Brown's the only person that I'm does telling that you, career. Chris Brown be, like, be having yeah, Chris Brown be having <laughs> these Infinity and Beyond as albums, and I be like, what what were you doing? Like, yeah, I just sit like, back and I'm be like, whatever ones hit, they gonna find me one way or another. That, that's the thing; they always gonna find you if it's on TikTok or Twitter. They gonna find you. Yeah, if they good, they go. I'm gonna hear them one day. Chris Brown mm-hmm. came out with new music. Trey Songz got new music. Trey Songz can rap. <laughs> Trey Songz can rap. Y'all ain't hear my sis Kiki Palmer. There's so many yeah. stories about Trey Songz. But, but even even after that, a lot of women have came out about Trey Songz's behavior. Mm-hmm. But like, just as, just but, as but, but, but even the same. But, but even with that, if we're just focusing on his music, I haven't checked for Trey songs since yeah. like what? After, after, well, well, let's yeah, yeah, when he first after inter, after intermission one and two, that's when a lot of I because I was a Trey songs fan. After intermission one and two, I ain't listening to nothing. Whatever album that was that had that heart attack song on there, that's when I stopped listening to Trey songs. Heart attack. Wasn't that trigger? Wasn't that the name of the album? Was I it? I, I want to think. I, I, don't think see, I don't see it on Trigger. Uh, you say a heart attack? Yeah. I don't see it on here. What was on Trigger? Was touching in love with Nicki Minaj on Trigger? That was the last time I was. Yeah, touching Tr- in love. Trigger had had Na Na and slow motion and all that. So yeah, okay, after- that's the last time. Okay, I lied. That's the last time. That's that was, the last time. That was the last oh, time because we like was in because that was that was freshman year. That was freshman year. That was the last time I listened to yeah. Trey Songz. I, I listened. He got, an EP out. he got an EP. I need to check it out. I listened to Tremaine, but that was 2017. Everything else after that, I ain't checked none of that out. I just do y'all think? Let's let's say this. Given the um the R and B boys of today, we talk about Lucky Day, Bryson Tiller, The Vision. Do you Let's think? Say go all down. Do y'all think Trey Songs could fit in with them? Could he come? I, I think his rep is uh, like his 
what he do on his personal time has kind of just ruined it for him. It's it's this well, route. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's, it's route. That was a really good politically correct answer. <laughs> well, that was does, really good. Like, you, you 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 did that. You okay. did that. You are right for the position, but what you doing your personal time? Because <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't listened to much of. Even outside of that, like I ain't listened to much of his other music, but like this contemporary R and B is very different from Trey Songz. His R and B even started to go more towards pop in the first place, so I don't even know who he would be trying to compete with. I, if you listen to the EP run, I would be interested on your thoughts on is he still trying to give the same twenty fifteen and back Trey songs, or is he trying to try something cool. different? I'll say because even in that Tremaine album, twenty seven, like that's when he dropped Animals and stuff. He was trying to go for a pop vibe, but even back then, that's twenty seventeen. That was kind of towards the end of that pop EDM dance combination of music era. Mm -hmm. Or am I tripping? That's what he was trying to do back then. Hands I, in the air. The easy. only, I feel like the only male R and B artist that I've seen do that uh, successfully is Chris Brown and Usher. Mm -hmm. Jason, I think yeah, Jason. If Jason, Jason Derulo, I almost said Jason Derulo because when he, but I feel like Jason Derulo started out with pop because what you say mm -hmm. is was a pop hit. Yeah, he was a pop guy. Yeah, I feel like Jason Derulo should have, for some reason, didn't get as big as he could have been. Or am I he, tripping? He, went, he just he wasn't on my radar. Jay, to me, Jason Derulo did what I feel like Flo Rida did. Like when Jason Derulo first came out, he had a certain like he had a certain like black audience like Flo Rida did when Flo Rida dropped low. But then Flo Rida went this way and started doing all those pop hits. And then Jason yeah. Derulo went this way and started doing all those pop hits. Mm. OK. And now and now Jason Derulo's steady in that pop bag. He He's in there. He's in the bag, in the bottom oh. of the bag. Like, we digging in there for a peppermint and pull out Jason Derulo. And, and Sage's comment is how I feel. Like, when I think Jason Derulo, I was like, oh, he was really big that uh, one year. And he first started <laughs> like, at, that one that year. First, that first album that he put out, I think it's called Encore or something like that. That first album that Jason Derulo put out? Yeah. Yeah. That's, Yeah. He was huge, and then he went that pop route, and then I didn't hear anything else from Jason Derulo until he dropped Swallow with Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. And Swallow kind of, it came and went. It Like, it came, it that did what it had wrong. to do for like a minute, yeah. But after that, did anything come after Swallow? Um, I don't know. They got as big, got as big as that song. That that no that, no no, that, 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 I want, no and that I want you to want me. They ate that up on Y one on one. I want Sing the you and baby oh, on I. Savage love song. Oh, oh I'm, yeah, uh huh, yeah. That's a nice song. Hmm. He might have a cult audience somewhere. I want to see a Jason Derulo fan. He was at San Diego Comic Con, so I feel like that's all. It's that, one more person I want to watch. We probably don't get into her later, but I did want to mention Miss Katy Perry. I think. Oh yes, Lord, have <laughs> mercy! Because that song, that video Disney ass song, Katy needs to wrap it up now. Now, listen, I understand, I understand, but I feel like Katy needs to wrap it up. Who I who needs to unwrap it? Who I heard is unwrapping it? Miss Gaga. They say yeah. he's got on the way. They say she on the way. Okay. But Katie, yeah, that she, was she, she, we gonna she get probably gonna have, that was. Y'all gonna probably gonna have some songs for their um new Joker movie. I, 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 I can see that having like one or two on that album. That album. I, I don't want. I don't. I don't want this to come off as based on race. But have y'all been checking for much white pop music? White oriented pop music. In real life, like I know we just had like that pop girlies thing, and like black women not be considered I pop mean, artists, but like have y'all been checking for the girlies on that side of it's only Sabrina. If if we if we if we talk about new girls, for me it's Sabrina and Renee Rapp. For me, mm, my, yeah, me and Sabrina. Um, you. If, so if we if we talk if we talking strictly new girls, 
It's Sabrina and Renee Rao. Okay. Because, like, I see certain names pop up, like, that are just big, but I don't, I don't be hearing, like, they music for real. Yeah. Like, I tried to listen to Olivia Rodrigo's album, couldn't get into mm -hmm. it. The Lamenta girl that be crying. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I only, I only like a couple songs by Billie Eilish, but, like. Billie yeah. Eilish never hit for me either. Yeah, yeah, so. The only two I'm checking for is Renee Rapp, if she ever comes back. And make another album and Sabrina. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's about it for me. Lady Gaga might ruffle up the industry a little bit. I feel like the thing that I like about Lady Gaga is that um she when she does something different, she does well at it. Like even even that album, was it called Jolene? The one um that had uh um, Perf was Joanne? They had like perfect, perfect illusion and stuff on it. Mm. I like that album. It was very different from like the Fame Monster and Born This Way and uh, the Fame or whatever. But I still liked it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be interested. If you say it's good, I'll listen to it. I'll check in. I'll check in. But that was a good point though that she may be making songs for the Joker. Mm -hmm. okay. That'd be nice. Ralph said Lady Gaga is damn near in a realm by herself. Honestly. I, for the type of music that she made when she first came out, yes. Mm. I'll say she was very polarizing back then, yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. I was, like, I was listening to Monster, and I was like, we will never get pop music like this again. We would, we will never if you listen yeah. to bad, if you listen to bad romance, Alejandro and Monster back to back, we will never get a pop run like that ever again. That was the golden era for pop music, though. Like back then, it was hits dropping back to back to back in pop music yeah. genre. Mm -hmm. I feel that like now we're moving more towards the Afro beats and the, uh, with the, the New Jersey beats and stuff like that. I feel like those kind of died. I feel like Afro beats died about two years ago. I, I, I like, feel like. I could see that. I feel like they some people still trying to dive in that bag to kind of explore yeah. that side. Yeah. So they still trying to keep it alive, but it's not for everybody. What what you sleep on? Because it kind of sounds similar to Afrobeat. Sometimes I mean, right now, like Hispanic, like Latin music is really the hit thing right now. Even if you don't listen to it, Latin music is like showing up everywhere now. It does show up everywhere. I will give you that. It does. Like yeah. that, because I, because I didn't know Becky G made Latin music. Uh -huh. Miss Miss singing in the shower. Yeah. I go to her page. She got the Latin. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Afrobeat and all that had like three years of being mainstream in America, but that was like two or three years ago, like pre-pandemic. I want to say almost. Yeah, I'll right. say I, I'll hear Latin music. Like if you go out, you're gonna hear Latin music way before you hear like everywhere. Or you're gonna hear more of it at least. Uh huh. If you ain't hearing hip hop and rap, you hearing Bad Bad Bunny or one of his descendants. Yeah. I need to check out a Bad Bunny song because everybody be Bad Bunny, Bad Bunny, and I was like, have I? Mm, should I? I was just like, do that. Go hard. He got well. Send me. Well, send me. Well, send me what songs you be listening to. Start me off. I don't be knowing. Now his thing, you know, I'm not that um, much of a lyric person. He be speaking right. Spanish. Do you, but, do, he be do speaking. You know the, but do you know the song? Do you have? Do you? Yeah, have yeah, song? yes. That, I, can song. I, can song. Song. I can find some. I can find some. I'll find. I can find it for that's you. That's what I'm saying. Send me, send me some songs. Put me, put me in there. I got you. Because out out in California, they heard, I think those ones hearing them first out here, and they play nothing but Bad Bunny in the club. Because I be seeing him, he be big and stuff, and his concerts be packed, and I be like, hmm, should I? Sure. I want to sign the NDA. Fuck the album. <laughs> I want to sign the NDA. Don't be us. And I get y'all front stage passes to his concerts. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah. let me well let me make sure I like his music first. Yeah, because otherwise, no, if, what we if you can get us front row tickets, I'll I won't talk about you. Nah, he's in your gonna, escapades. He gonna say he gonna stand there. <clears throat> I can't believe Galvin did that. I don't like what you did to get these tickets, but I like I the tickets. I can't, I can't believe King did that. It's a nice ticket, though. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 be like, this, this is front row. Oh, 
Oh. I mean, we we in Bad Bunny. We in the bunny. <laughs> <laughs> we we in the bunny. <laughs> Man. I would be, like I said before, with Gaga, I'd be interested to see what she taps into. I'm If she writes songs for that Joker movie, I'm interested to see what she taps into for that as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Put that on the screen. Put that on. Put that on the screen. <laughs> LMFAO. <laughs> we don't be like, but we ain't even say nothing. It's all right, child. I got it. To be so honest, cool. I take one for me, not for the team. The team That's what I'm saying. <laughs> ain't no team. He just doing it. it. Ain't, he ain't even. He ain't even doing it for us. We, we got <laughs> indirect I benefit. Time when I was signing the NBA for Bad Bunny. He was like, you want to get he, your friend free like, ticket? I guess is, they can get is, some. This is the scenario. He did it, and he just coincidentally got front row tickets for his he, Oh, these free tickets? Oh, okay. And then he was like, I don't need all of these. And then it's, hey, I got some bad buddy tickets. What's <laughs> don't ask me how we go, we, we go to the front row. Where you at? Oh, I'm backstage. I'm backstage. I'm backstage. I'm backstage. I'm back here with I'm back here with the bunnies. That's what they call us, the bunnies. I'm back here with the bunnies. bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody when the album cover first dropped, I saw a tweet on Twitter that said she is foreshadowing that this album was ass. And when I was listening to it, I was like, you know, well, I listened to JT album way more than I, I way before. I'm I, not.